And it does. Folks, we're exploring the farm. Matt from To The Max Outdoors talking about it looks like he sees potential. Well, we're out here looking and there is potential. We're way back up in here. We still haven't made it to the top. No, top is way, way up that way. And I don't have the lungs or the leg capacity to walk that because we've been walking. I don't even know what time it is now, but we've been walking at least an hour, an hour it's, uh, back in here. Yeah, we've been walking at least About an hour. Minutes. Yeah. And there's a nice bench. I told Jared I could see from here. There's a bench up there, but then it starts straight up again. But this reminds us so much, especially when we cross this little draw right here and looking this way. And if you look up through there, his pawpaw used to hunt a holler like this up there on the mountain in Greenbrier County. And we'd cross a little draw little creek and he would always go up and then we would go on around going out to where our spot was going to be it and it went up a and hill he used to go hunt on a little bench between the two hollers that went up and that's what this is there's two hollers that go up with a little bench in the yeah middle. but this this here just the steepness of it is so much like the mountain up at deer camp but i wanted to share a little bit this with you there's deep hollow here. And from that side over there, the old logging road you walk, you get over there, you can see all the way down that hollow to a big field. But uh, the one thing I have found out in this neck of the woods behind Jared's farm is that there's a lot of beach in here. This is the reason why it's squirrel heaven over here. Very little oak. Yeah. That's a bad thing for hunting. You know, there's not much oak for the deer. But for squirrels, there's beech, there's hickory, and it's all in here. Yeah. And we brought our favorite companions. We've got Dixie right there. That's Jared's dog. And here's Scout. She's come on the trek with us. But uh, this will be just a short video. I just wanted to show you what we was into this Step evening on Sunday. The creek there. It's that okay. Let's walk over here to the creek. It's really not a creek, it's a runoff when it's he heavy rains. Let's see, let's get over this way. So you can... Yeah. Well, you can see some up through there, but still, we got a lot of tree limbs here. So. You, you get back there, you can see it real good. Look out, Scout. There's some plony in here, too. Yeah. Look up that holler. <coughs> Sorry. Look up that holler. And as you can see, we're nowhere close to the top. No, it's way up there. But uh, just, it's beautiful here. And then, like I said, get here. See it better up there. Yeah. Take you up here and let you see down this holler. You see down that hollow, and through them trees, you can see the field all the way down there. But this was some beautiful country back in here. And, uh, of course, we've only muzzleloader hunted. Yeah. I've never been back this far. You have. And like I said, I stopped right over there because the road looks like it gets rough on the other side. Yeah, it's got a lot of deadfalls in it. But, Plus, uh, I knew when I did come back out in here, I knew by the time I got here, I was out of radio contact, and I hadn't told nobody I was going adventuring. Yeah, right. So, I didn't want to keep heading out, and one of y'all holler at me and say you were ready to go or something like that, and I couldn't hear you, so I come back, and that's as far as I went. But well, it's a beautiful country. And we will make it to the top. Yeah. Right up here is the false summit. You think it's the top. Yeah. It's nowhere near the top. No. You can see, I don't know if you can see it here in the video, 
the skyline up you there. You can see the skyline up there and you see the light through some of the trees at that the very the top. But it's way up there. It's really rough. Yeah, it's rough really getting out in here. Uh, no matter which way you go, yeah. it's all, if you're trying to get to the top, it's all uphill. You're either, you're either walking up the holler, up the, the, the drain, or you're getting up on a ridge and trying to walk up that ridge and still continue uphill climb. And the to, ridges, I mean, they're, they're like this. Yeah. I mean. But once you get to the top, from what I've heard from people who have hunted down here in the past years and stuff, people who grew up down here, once you get to the top, it's beautiful. It's big, wide open flats. And... Yeah. But I, I wanted to put this out. Uh, Matt from To The Mike's Outdoors, he said he could see some potential. And I wanted to share this video, us walking out in here. I should have started it sooner. But uh, we wanted to get back out in here and just look around. I was trying to look for oak trees. I think I spotted a few. There's a couple, mm -hmm. but there's not a whole lot. It's not a lot. It's more beach. And like I said, we have seen squirrels like crazy this oh. year, last year. We should have squirrel hunted more beginning of season. But uh, just wanted to share this. Appreciate y'all watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And we're, we're fond of saying, we'll see, see you, you in the, the woods. woods. Thanks for watching.